Assalamualaikum everyone. How are you today? I hope you're all fine. So today we are going to continue our lesson with dinosaurs. Ra. So before that, let's open your Get Smart Plus 4 page 84 and let's read these words. Okay, the first one is beak. Beak. Big means paru, paru, paru burung ke, paru iti atau ayam. Okay, the second one is horns, horns. Okay, if it's only one horn without s, if it's more than one, it's plural. So we say horns with s at the back, horns. So this triceratops got three horns. The next one is claws. Claws. Claws ni yang uh, tangan yang berkuku ya. Claws. 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 Jangan sebut claw. No. Claws. 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 Alright. The next one is spots. 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 Spots bermaksud bintik-bintik. Yeah, spots. Ah, Tarsal top ni ada bintik-bintik and leopards also uh, have got spots on the body. Okay, the next word is ostrich. 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 Okay, ostrich ni burung, uh, ni lah, burung unta. Okay, ostrich. Ostrich. So today we are going to learn and read about three dinosaurs. Please open your textbook, page 84, the same page. Okay, what do you know about dinosaurs? So let's listen and read. Do you like dinosaurs? Yes, I like them too. Okay, let's read. The terrible lizards lived on earth 245 million years ago. What did they eat? Apa yang mereka makan? How big were they? Berapa besar mereka ni? Here are some amazing facts about them. Nah, di sini ada beberapa fakta menarik tentang dinosaurs. Okay, jom. Kalamimus had a small head, big eyes, a beak and a long neck. It looked like an ostrich, but it didn't have wings. Okay, tengok bentuk galamimus. It had two arms and a long tail. Calamimus was an omnivore. It ate both animals and plants. Head to pass ten kepada have. Dia ada. Okay. The next one. What's the next dinosaur? Ra. Yes, Tyrannosaurus Rex or T-Rex. Okay. Was one of the biggest carnivores. It had strong legs and short arms with sharp claws. It, its head was as big as a small car. It had very uh, strong teeth. Okay. As big as. Sama dengan, sama besar. Okay, S bermaksud sama ya. As big as a small car. Okay, sama besar dengan kereta yang kecil. It had very strong teeth. Strong to kuat kan? Okay, the next one is Diplodocus. Diplodocus was longer than most other dinosaurs. Ah, sangat panjang lah. Banding other dinosaurs. 
Awak kena faham dah ni awak dah, dah jam 4. Diplodocus was longer, lebih panjang kan? Than most other dinosaurs. It was as long as, ingat tu, as tu sama dengan two buses and a car. Sama panjang dengan dua bus dan satu biji kereta. Si, tengok. S, long S. It had a very long neck and eight plants and three leaves. It was a herbivore. Awak dah belajar sains kan? Herbivore, omnivore, carnivore, carnivore. Okay, so herbivore hanya makan plants only. Plants tu tumbuhan lah. Okay, now let's read with me. Okay, kita baca the next page. 85 ke surat 85 Head dia punya head was as big as a small car Kepala dia sama besar dengan kereta kecil sebuah kereta kecil similar sama It was as long as two buses and a car Dia sepanjang sama panjang as long as two buses and a car. Dua uh, bus dan satu kereta. Now let's read again and answer. Jom kita baca uh, dan jawab soalan nombor dua ni. Okay, kita jawab dengan uh, mulut je lah orally You cannot uh, jot down on your textbook eh? Jangan conteng Who lived on earth 245 million years ago? Siapa tinggal dekat earth 245 million years ago? Quick, quick Yes, the answer is dinosaurs lived on earth 245 million years ago uh, Dinosaur yang tinggal Okay, sebelum ada manusia uh, 245 million million years ago. Okay, the next one. And Kilomimus had a big, uh, big eyes and a long neck and looked like an ostrich. Okay. Eh, look like a what? Saya terjawab pula. What did Kilomimus look like? Yes, the answer is Gullimimus look like an ostrich. Gullimimus tu seperti, look like. Sama seperti eh. Ha, contohnya muka awak. You look like your brother. Muka awak sama macam awak punya abang. Okay, look like. Dah pastikan kita letak ED dah lepas. Okay, what do omnivores eat? Omnivores eat number three. Omnivores makan apa? Omnivores eat. Ah, oh, dah belajar sains. Yes, omnivores eat animals and plant. Dua-dua eh. Ah, meat dia makan, tumbuhan pun dia makan. Plant. Okay, the next one. Number four. Diplodocus was a... Uh, Diplodocus... Uh, uh, animal ni type dia apa? Herbivore, carnivore or omnivore? Cepat, cepat. Yes, that's right. Herbivore. Diplodocus was a herbivore. Yay! The next one. Herbivore. Awak kena tahu macam mana aja ya. Uh, okay, which dinosaur was one of the biggest carnivores? Carnivores ni yang buat apa? Yang makan apa? It was one of the biggest carnivore. Dinosaur mana? One of the biggest carnivore yang makan daging. 
So what dinosaur is that? Yes, Tyrannosaurus rex or T-rex was one of the biggest carnivores. Yeah, do you like uh, T-rex? Yes, I like T-rex too. Okay. And the last one is what did herbivores like? Um, Diplodocus eat. The herbivores ate. Makan apa? Herbivores macam diplodocus ni makan apa? Okay. Uh, look like, like, as. Semua tu bermaksud sama eh. Sama. Herbivores like diplodocus ate plants and three leaves. Okay, jawapannya ada dekat sini. Awak boleh tengok semula jawapan. Ya. Yeah. Okay, so the next one, good job, I'm very proud of you. Let's listen, listen and number one to four. Okay, jom dengar. One. Triceratops was a herbivore. It had a big body with four legs. It didn't have claws. It had three horns, two on its head and one on its nose. So Two. Comsognathus was as small as a chicken. It had thin legs and a long tail. It had sharp claws and ate lizards. Hmm. Three. Stegosaurus was a herbivore. It had a big body and a small head. Its brain was as small as a squirrel's brain. Okay. Four. Pteranodons weren't dinosaurs. They were flying lizards. They had beaks and big wings. They ate fish, just like many birds do today. Okay, which one is number one? Now, let's check your answers. One. Yes, Triceratops. Two. Number two. Three. Yes, combo campus. Number three is Stegosaurus. And number four is Taranodon. Yay! Well done, everyone. Good job. Adjective uh, that are used between the same things with the same quality and quantity. Kita nak bandingkan benda yang sama pula. Hari tu kita bandingkan benda yang lebih kan. Lebih besar, kita guna longer. Lebih uh, bijak, more intelligent. Now, now is different because we use S. Okay, untuk the same quality, the same quantity. Okay, so kena kita letak adjective uh, dekat tengah-tengah. Alright? Okay. Jom kita sambung pelajaran kita dan belajar uh, tentang cara penggunaan untuk bandingkan benda yang sama. Uh, the same quality and quantity. Okay, for example, was, pasu tambah s, pasu adjective and s. Contohnya tadi kita uh, ada guna uh, perkataan apa tadi? Its head was as big as a small car. Was tu kalau uh, dah lepas, kita guna was kan? Untuk uh, verb to be. Verb to be ni yang is, are uh, tu verb to be. Kita dah belajar ya sayang semua. Okay, kalau dah lepas, kita guna was. Kalau banyak atau plural, kita guna were. So, untuk kita bagi tahu satu ayat tentang tu. Was apa? Nak bandingkan sem sem benda sama ni. Was as big ke as small ke. Was as intelligent ke? Ha, adjective kan sama. Adjective ni kata sifat. S. Sama seperti S. Was as big as apa? Was as small as apa? Okay? Uh, for example, uh, its head was as big as a small car. Ha, tadi ayat yang kita guna tadi kan? Ataupun ada dalam buku teks awak ni. It was as long as two buses and a car. Okay, ni example eh, contoh. For example, big. Perkataan big. Apa maksud big? 
Yes, besar. Okay, big bermaksud besar. Okay, perkataan big ni adalah adjective atau kata sifat. So, macam mana kita nak guna perkataan tu, how to use as, sama. Okay, try, uh, Tyrannosaurus head, Tyrannosaurus punya head, was as big as adalah se, sama besar seperti, uh, okay, pro dua kancil. Okay, pro dua kancil. Tyrannosaurus head was as big as pro dua kancil. Ha, sama besar seperti Seperti apa awak nak bandingkan Awak letak dekat belakang selepas S yang kali kedua tu Okay Faham? Understand? Good A rhinoceros head was as big as Pro dua kancil Okay, perlu kancil ni dah tak wujud lah. Okay, perlu yang uh, keluarkan kereta yang sangat kecil. Paling kecil lah. Okay. Uh, now we have uh, Viva, we have uh, Asia, right? Okay, the next example is long. Okay, apa maksud long? Panjang, yes, good. Okay, long is an adjective as well. Okay, adjective kata sifat juga. Kata sifat panjang. For example, Diplodocus was, was ni adalah ya, yang dah lepas kita guna was. Okay, as long as two buses. Sepanjang dua bus, seperti. Sama panjang seperti dua bus. Diplodocus was as long as two buses. Okay. Ni cara guna was. So, S, lepas tu awak letak adjective and then S again. Bandingkan dengan apa? Belakang dia. Okay? And this is how you make sentences untuk perbandingan. Okay, the next example is small. Kecil. Small. Small. Okay? Small bermaksud kecil. Stegosaurus brain, Stegosaurus punya brain, kita guna apostrophe S kan? Was adalah as small as, sama kecil seperti... Uh, S tu sama seperti lah. The walnut. Aha, sama kecil macam kacang walnut tu eh. Kacang walnut tau pernah makan kan? Uh, okay. S was as small as. Awak oh, bandingkan dengan apa? Walnut. Okay, what if adjective are used between two same things but different quality or quantity? Okay, kita bandingkan dua benda yang sama tapi uh, berbeza kualiti dia atau berbeza kuantiti. Kualiti ni uh, nilai dia lah. Kuantiti ni adalah um, berapa bilangan dia. Okay? Uh, okay. Kita guna wasn't dekat depan. Maksudnya was not. Was not jadi wasn't. Lepas tu tambah s. Lepas tu adjective. Lepas tu s. Okay. Kita letak dekat depan. Wasn't as small as contohnya. Wasn't as long as. Okay, tidak. Tidak. Wasn't ni was not. Tidak. Dia bandingkan benda yang sama tapi tak sama. Okay, for example, light. Light. Light ni, ejaan light ni bermaksud terang ataupun ringan. Okay, T-Rex wasn't as light as. Uh, tidak seperti ringan seperti Comsogenetus. Comsognetus. Ah, okay. That's the name of dinosaur. T-Rex tidaklah seringan. Light to ringan eh. As a comsognetus. Ah, tak seringan uh, dinosaur comsognetus ni. Ah, dia kurus kecil je. So, dia ringan. Tidaklah seringan as. Okay. Kita bandingkan benda yang sama tapi kualiti dan kuantiti berbeza. Kita letak wasn't. Tidak. Sama seperti, tidak sama seperti. Kalau tadi was kan? Okay, the next one is small. Kecil pula. T-Rex wasn't as small as consognatus. T-Rex tidaklah uh, kecil, sama kecil seperti dinosaur consognatus.
So your homework is open your workbook page 70. Okay, you have to do uh, activity one. Okay, fill in the blanks with the correct adjective. Guna adjective yang betul, tapi guna struktur ayat S. Apa S? Okay, for example, number one. Consignators was at number one. S apa? S small, kan? S a chicken. Awak guna perkataan yang dalam uh, yellow box tu atas tu. Okay. Number two, look and write sentences with S, adjective and S. Okay. So, you use yang saya ajar tadi, wasn't, tidak. S, adjective and S. Okay, Euthyraptor and Triceratops. Awak bandingkan. Euthyraptor wasn't as heavy as Triceratops. Okay. The, exam the first example was given. Guna perkataan heavy. So, awak gunakan wasn't dekat depan ya, ya? Very easy. Okay, you have to make sure the adjective used for uh, to write sentences is suitable. Okay? Uh, the big, uh, the scary, dangerous, as, and long. Okay, so you use wasn't, as, adjective, and as. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you very much. And please send your work. Uh, and upload uh, on our Telegram group. Okay, goodbye. Assalamualaikum. See you next week.